place I was last week. And today I want to work on uh, rolling a little bit more. And I want to have a conversation about my paddle float reentry, uh, which a number of people took issue with. Uh, and I want to explain why I do it the way I do it. Uh, and so paddle float, rolling, tightened up the spray skirt, we're going to see if it makes a difference. Nope, spray skirt does not tighten. That's it. Let's get on the water. The other thing that I want to try out is a rescue that people have told me about, or I should say a self-rescue that people have told me about that I have not tried because when I was in the water, I could never remember how to do it. Let's see if that's different today. It's the heel hook and it's a version of the paddle float for folks that don't have the upper body strength to just pull themselves up. Uh, and we're going to see if I can remember how to do it today. And, uh, and do that. So I'm going to walk through the steps of the paddle float uh, so that you can follow along at home. Uh, I think it's a great skill. A lot of people don't like the paddle float lights. A lot of people don't like the paddle float because you need an extra piece of gear, which I think is kind of a lame reason to not like something. Lots of things that we do require pieces of gear. Um, and it's a great backup. When I teach self-rescues, uh, I teach a progression. And um, I thought it was interesting in last week's video, I, without thinking about it, did that progression, right? And so the progression is fastest to slowest, hardest to easiest. And so the first step is a roll. Uh, if that doesn't work, a rodeo rescue. If that doesn't work, a paddle float rescue. And without thinking about it, that was what I did. And that is a testament to muscle memory and practicing things and practicing things the way you're going to do things. So I think that that's super important. Uh, so let's get dressed and get on the water. for a paddle float self-rescue. Flip the boat over, or the boat flips on its own, which is why you're doing the rescue in the first place. Uh, hold on to the boat, hold on to your paddle, retrieve your paddle float, flip the boat over. You can flip the boat over and retrieve your paddle float. It's important though, because when this happens, you're probably gonna be in bad weather, big waves. So it's important to hold on to your gear. You're gonna need, obviously, your boat and your paddle. Uh, so it's super important that you hold on to that stuff. Put the paddle float onto the end of the blade, blow up both chambers, slide the other blade under the bungees behind your cockpit, and then primarily what people do is one hand on the combing, one hand on the paddle shaft, get your chest up onto the back deck, slide your feet in, and then this is where people disagreed they wanted me to roll away from the paddle float, which is the more comfortable, more uh, fluid uh, motion. It's what most people do. In my experience, though, when people do that, the boat comes up, the paddle float comes out of the water, and the boat rolls that way, and they're back in the water. Someone said to me that they saw, when people do it my way, that happens. So if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, find what works for you. I tend to teach people to do it the way that I do it, which is rolling towards the paddle float so that your weight is going towards the outrigger. Um, but if you find that doesn't work for you, then don't do that. that I find that, that the other way creates problems for people. So that's what we're gonna do in the paddle float. We're also gonna try the heel hook 
uh, if I can remember how to do it. Facing, yeah, facing the back, left leg. Yeah, I think I can remember how to do it. I think I can remember how to do it. Okay, so we're gonna give that a shot. Let's get some water back here. That water is cold. And then with the rolling, besides my skirt not staying on, I didn't like, I wasn't getting my paddle uh, out of the water while I was upside down. And that meant that a blade was staying in the water and it should have been out of the water when I righted myself. So I'm gonna try and do that one a little bit better, but as cold as the water is today, I don't know how many shots I'm gonna give that. So, so let's try a roll. Uh, if the roll doesn't work, or if the roll, even if the roll does work, we're gonna then get in the water, do a paddle float one more time, and a heel hook. And then that'll be it. Just those three things today is all I wanna get accomplished. the heel hook first and see how that goes. So. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. That's pretty easy. I like that. Okay. Now we're gonna pump the water out. You should put your skirt on as much as you can. My skirt is too tight to do that. So I think what happened, I mean, I know what happened. I lifted my head. If you miss a roll, that's what happens. Um, but I think what uh, happened was I lifted my head because the water was so cold and my brain was saying, get this head out of the water. That was a straight up missed roll. I haven't missed a roll. I didn't miss any last week. The water is colder today, but I didn't miss any last week. So we're gonna try it again. 
Some days your roll just doesn't go. But this one's gonna go. I'm confident this one's gonna go. I can do a forward finishing roll. Let's try it. There we go. It still popped a little bit. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it popped. Let's do uh, paddle float and call it a day because I am cold. This is really cold water today. Good practice for Alaska, but it is bloody cold. Cold. Outrigger is weighed the whole time. It's personal preference. My experience says that rolling that way, which feels natural, you tend to flip that up more. But do what works for you, but practice it both ways and see what works. If you've taken lessons with me, you know that I am not about dogma, I'm about finding what works. Let's get the water out of this boat. Let's get it sore and warm because I am cold. Rough day on the water, man. I missed roll, crack and paddle float. Cold water, that's what happens in cold water, man. Oh! has picked up. not sure if I pull the muscle in my right calf or if it's cramping. Either way, my right calf hurts. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to warm up because it is, man, that was cold.
Okay, so that's today. That is the end of uh, part two of Alaska prep, rolling and paddle floats. I'm feeling pretty good about the roll. Uh, even though I missed that one, I'm feeling pretty good, and now I sort of understand why my skirt is popping, um, and I just have to retrain myself with this boat to do a forward-leaning finish on my roll. Um, and paddle floats are feeling good, and I did the heel hook, which was easy, and uh, yeah, good day on the water. Okay, uh, if this is working for you, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, I know that like 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed and I'm struggling to hit a thousand. I'm at like, I need like 150 more to get to a thousand and uh, that would really make my month if I could get to a thousand subscribers. That would be awesome. So hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, if you want to get started paddling, my books are on Amazon. Uh, other than that, I'll see you outside.